Now, the governor and first lady have since tested negative for COVID-19, but out of an abundance of caution, have both decided to self-quarantine. And despite that news, the numbers here in New Jersey are continuing to go in the right direction. And officials now even talking about easing more restrictions. We are um, in the better to be safe than sorry mode. A small setback for Governor Murphy after a relative tested positive for COVID-19, forcing him to cancel all in-person events Wednesday and voluntarily quarantining. This came from a smaller gathering of some sort, and I'm not sure that we know we know why or, or, or where. Without naming who the family member was, the governor proceeded with his daily briefing virtually, reporting on a drop in COVID cases and hospitalizations statewide, a trend that he says could lead to the easing of more restrictions, even suggesting a timeline of Easter. The variants are going to continue to be something we watch like a hawk, but you could see being in a dramatically different place not that long from now. Uh, Easter's first weekend of April, so I picked that as something that's six or seven weeks away. As of Wednesday, more than 1.1 million New Jersey residents have been vaccinated. With 142 outbreaks now reported in New Jersey schools, however, the pressure to widen vaccine eligibility to educators is mounting on the governor. I've said this all along, educators are up to bat next. We just need more supply. While the overall inoculation numbers are encouraging the low rate of vaccines being administered in minority communities hit the hardest with the virus continues to be a concern. Blacks and Latinos account for just 8% of those vaccinated in the Garden State versus 50% of whites. Ma'am, I didn't get a chance to say hello, but bless you and thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Governor Murphy paid a visit to a vaccination site inside the Mary McLeod Bethune Life Center in Jersey City Wednesday, applauding their daily turnaround of 800 to 1,000 inoculations, where it's targeting a community that he says is underserved. That is where we've got to aggressively push into and get these these vaccines not just uh, spoken about and framed so that folks understand it but also that actually uh, we get we get the job done as part of a statewide initiative the new jersey department of health will be hosting a number of virtual town halls where they say they'll address the facts fears and myths regarding the covid 19 vaccine each town hall will be catered to the black caribbean and latinx communities in jersey city i'm andrew ramos fix 11 news